What we're going to be looking at here is the settlement of debt through transfer of assets here. Now we're going to be looking at gains and losses, some write-offs here, and also allowance for doubtful accounts here. And for example here, Corporation A owes $400,000 plus $36,000 of accrued interest to Bank B here. And, it, and the debt is based on a 10-year 10% note. Now Corporation A's business has deteriorated and they cannot pay this note of this loan. And on 1231-20X1, Bank B agrees to accept a machine here and cancel this entire debt here. That's the $400,000 note that's receivable here plus the $36,000 of interest that's payable on that note. And what they're going to receive here, they're going to receive a machine here that is going to have a market fair market value of $360,000 in exchange for this debt that they're going to write off. Now, the cost of the machine here is $780,000. Uh, that's sitting on Corporation A's books and it also has an accumulated depreciation here of $442,000. Again, that's sitting on Corporation A's books. So let's start uh, looking at it from uh, the perspective here from Corporation A. This is where they transferred a property here, uh, Corporation A to debtor to Bank B. So what Corporation A has to deal with here? There's two things. They're going to have A, a gain or loss on the disposable of the asset transferred. That is that machine that's being transferred here to Bank B here to cancel the debt here. And also they're going to have uh, some debt restructuring here where they're carrying amount of the payable, that's that notes payable, over the fair value of the asset, the machine being transferred here to Bank B or any equity transferred. They're going to be looking at a gain here and on this debt restructuring. So let's look at what we have to deal with here. Again, the transfer of property here, 1231X1 by Corporation A, the debtor. So this is what Corporation A, the debtor here. We're going to have the asset here. We're going to have the machine plus it's accumulated depreciation. Then we're going to have the liability to deal with. That's that notes payable here and the interest payable here. All of those are on our balance sheet here. And then on our income statement, we're going to have two, two gains here that we're going to have to deal with. We're going to have a gain on the disposable, uh, disposal of the machine here. Again, that's going to be an ordinary gain here. And we're going to have a gain here on this debt restructuring here, all on our income statement. So let's start out with this asset here the machine that's being transferred here. So what they would do is they had the cost here sitting on their books of $780,000 so they'd be removing it off the books here. Credit that for $780,000 and then we have accumulated depreciation. We'd be uh, at $442,000 uh, credit amount here on the books and so they'd be writing that off here uh, for four, debiting that for $442,000. So first let's look at how we'd calculate the gain on this on the disposal of the machine. So we take the fair market value of the machine that we were given here at $360,000. Then we'd be subtracting the carrying value of the machine. Well, its cost here is $780,000 showing up here. And then we would be subtracting the accumulated depreciation here on the machine of $442,000. So the carrying value of the machine here, and we would be subtracting that from the fair market value of $360,000. And we're going to actually get a gain here of $22,000 on the disposal of the machine here. So what we would do is on our income statement, we go up here and we'd credit our gain for the disposal here of the machine for $22,000. Okay, now the next thing we have to deal with here is this liability. That's notes payable here and the interest payable. Now the bank is going to forgive or uh, forgive Corporation A here uh, for paying this note. They're going to write it. Or Corporation A isn't going to have to write or pay back this notes payable or the interest payable providing they transfer this machine here at its fair value. So what we would do here on our balance sheet is our liability here for our notes payable. We'd uh, debit that here for $400,000, remove it off our books here. And then again, the interest payable, they're not going to have to pay that back here as well. So we'd debit that here for $36,000. So now we have to calculate this gain on this debt restructuring. So what we would do here is we just take the carrying value value of the debt owed, that was the $400,000 here of the notes payable plus the interest payable here of $36,000. Okay, so we've got uh, our carrying value of our debt owed here. Then we'd be uh, subtracting the difference here, a fair market value of our machine of $360,000. So um, there 
we're given the fair, fair market value of the machine, 360000 So just the difference between those two amounts here, we're going to find out that we have a gain, on, gain here on this debt restructuring of $76,000 here. So that's where we, how we calculate the gain here on, on the debt restructuring here. Just the carrying value of the debt uh, owed here, that was, again, just our notes payable of 400000 plus the interest payable here of 36000 and uh, subtracting or comparing that to a fair market value of the machine here that we're giving up. So we're giving up less here uh, in a fair market value of the machine than the uh, debt owed here. So we're, at, we're, we're experiencing a gain here on this debt restructuring by doing that. Okay, so we've uh, taken care of both the gain here on the disposal of the machine here and the gain on the debt restructuring here that we're uh, uh, crediting here on our income statement again as an ordinary gain here and then we've written off both the notes payable here and also the machine is removed off the books. So the next thing we want to do is we want to go and we want to look at um, the bank from the bank's perspective here the creditor here where we transfer the property to the bank the creditor here from Corporation A. So we're going to be looking at the bank's uh, books here. So they have two things to deal with here. They have a non-cash asset they're, they're going to be received at its fair value here and then B here they have a charge or an excess loss which they're going to charge against an allowance for a doubtful account as a reduction to the receivable. So let's look at that here. So again transfer the property on 1231x1 uh, to bank B the creditor. So bank B is going to have their asset accounts here and they're also going to have their assets for asset account here for their machine here and their assets accounts here for their uh, notes receivable their interest receivable and then they're going to have this allowance for doubtful accounts or a contra revenue account so for the asset account here they're going to have to record that it, it's a non-cash asset so it's recorded at its fair value here so this is what they're going to receive in exchange for writing off that debt here to bank or to Corporation A. So we credit or debit that here for $360,000. That's the fair value of that machine that they received there. So that they're going to uh, uh, set up as an asset account here and record it here as the machine here. And then for their notes receivable here, well, they were owed for, they add $400,000 here. Again, this is an asset account, and they're going to be writing that off here. They credit that for $400,000, and then the interest receivable as well. They had a, a debit amount here sitting at 36000 that was owed them here by Corporation A, so they'd be writing that off or crediting that for 36000 Now we come up with this allowance for doubtful accounts here, and this is uh, simply um, a contra receivable account here. So what we would do to record that here, we re they re what they received in fair value was the $360,000. That was the machine that they received here. But what they had to give up for that here was the notes receivable, which they had to write off here for $400,000. And they also had to give up the interest that was due them on that note here for $36,000. So the netting those amounts here together, you're going to, they're going to set up an allowance account here of $76,000. So that's essentially what they're losing on this deal here. Now they're not recognizing as a, a loss here on their income statement. Instead, what they do is they set up an allowance for a doubtful account here on their balance sheet which is actually a contra receivable account here and that's for the debt write off of here of this notes receivable here and that was for seventy six thousand dollars so again our assets here well our debits and credits are going to balance here you get a debit here of three hundred and sixty thousand dollars here and then you're going to have a debit here of seventy six thousand here on your allowance account and then you're going to have your credits here for your notes receivable of four hundred thousand here plus your credit on our interest revenue here for thirty six thousand dollars so our debits are going to balance with our credits here and this is what uh, the bank B, the creditor, would do here. They're going to, again, just review it. They received the machine here at its fair value, so they're going to record it at its fair value here and write off the notes receivable. That's that bad loan that they made here to Corporation A. Write that off. Also, the interest receivable, write that off here. And then they record any. Uh, the allowance they recorded as allowance here to doubtful accounts that's a contra a contra receivable here again as an asset here on their balance sheet so that they would have uh, debited here 
or the allowance account here was reduced by seventy-six thousand dollars here uh, due to the uh, the write-off of this receivable. All right, so that takes care of the settlement of debt here through the transfer of assets. Looking at it both from the uh, debtor's perspective here of Corporation A that couldn't pay the debt and they're giving up the asset here to Bank B and looking at it from Bank B, the creditor here who has to write off this debt that was due uh, to them from Corporation A.